Many good things come in pairs, but the best of all are twins. I bet you've heard of several stories about them, but this one will stab you in the heart and make your eyes shed precious tears and make you appreciate every moment. In life, some people go in search of love and find it. For some, it works, and for others, it doesn't. But there is always a set of people that I like to call special. They do not go in search of love, but it comes to them when they least expect it. And do you know the most beautiful thing? It is maintained forever. That was the love between Amy and Connor. The duo met during their student years, and from the moment they met, they knew they wanted to be together. Like most relationships, this couple also had moments of doubt and fear, but true love says it conquers everything. So every day they dreamed of the possibility of a future together. After a decade of friendship, the couple's dream came true and they married in 2015. When the couple pronounced their vows, those present could not contain their tears. But as much as the duo looked good together, everyone expected their love to continue burning and that nothing would take away what they shared. Unfortunately, bad things happen in life. But when they happen, who will be in our side? I think that's the most important thing. This couple has a great lesson for everyone. Soon after they got married, they started trying to have a baby, and in February 2016, they knew they were pregnant. It seemed they had the perfect life, no worries, no pain. All they did was go to work, love each other, and at night, they both listened to the baby and said sweet words to each other. If life were that quiet. What was about to happen was something that no one would wish on their worst enemy. In the 11th week of pregnancy, Amy woke up one morning with a devastating image. As she looked down, she noticed that she was bleeding. All she could think of was a few scary words, miscarriage. She and her husband were very scared. As they did not want to take any chances, the terrified couple rushed to the hospital. But upon arriving there, they learned something edifying. When the doctors performed a series of tests, the results showed that Amy had not suffered any complications. Rather, they had good news. She was actually pregnant with twins and she had bled because they were growing twice as fast. Although the couple was surprised, they could not contain their emotion. So right there in the hospital, they screamed with all their might, hugged and swore to love them until the last breath they had left. Although we would have wished this story to continue along this path, it did not. The couple returned home and began preparing for the twins' arrival. Amy continued to attend the checkups and during the 20th exploration, she and her husband learned that they would have twins. Everything went smoothly until week 24. One morning, the couple was doing their daily chores when Amy broke water. That was enough to ruin the day. Once again, the couple rushed to the hospital, and luckily, Amy didn't go into labor right away, so they prayed and hoped it wouldn't happen. The doctors also did their best to delay the delivery for two more weeks. During the hospital stay, the couple also learned that one of the sisters, Esme, shared the water with her twin sister. It was amazing to know that the girls were together. I was very proud, Amy said. More than ever, the future mother dreamed of the unbreakable bond that her daughters shared. But sometimes, some thoughts never come true. In the 26th week, Amy finally went into labor, and she was taken to surgery for a C-section. A few minutes later, the girls were born and looked like little angels on Earth. Esme was born with a weight of 1.5 kilograms and Charlotte 0.9 kilograms. As they were born prematurely, they needed urgent medical attention, so they were transferred to a neonatal unit and placed in separate incubators. Charlotte was in a bad way, but Esme was stronger. So it continued until the sixth week. By then, the twins were exchanged. Charlotte became the strongest and little Esme's health worsened. She had a dangerous amount of fluid in her heart and brain. Doctors told the couple to come home and pray for their daughter. Although the doctors had said they were not sure if Esme would survive, Amy and Connor remained positive. So they went home and prepared it for the return of their daughters. A few days after returning home, Amy was walking the dogs when she received a call from the hospital. They never called unless there was an emergency. Deep in her soul, she was convinced that the medical staff had asked them to come so she could say goodbye to Esme. As much as she wanted to eliminate that thought, she kept hearing the words, Esme is dying, in her head. 
When she couldn't take it anymore, she collapsed in the field. After Connor took her, they ran to the hospital, and as they fear, the doctors told them that Esme had severe brain damage. The couple understood what that meant, so a few days later, they made the most distressing decision, telling doctors they could disconnect her from life support. But Amy wasn't going to let Esme leave without seeing how she bonded with her sister, so she asked the nurses to place the babies on her chest. When she held them together, her world felt complete. But what happened next made the moment even more perfect. Suddenly, Charlotte wrapped her arm around her sister. It was a very special moment. After that beautiful moment they shared, Amy knew it was time to let Esme go. One night before her life support was taken away, Amy approached the girl's bed, sat down beside her, and wrote a mother's most beautiful text to her daughter. She wrote all the special memories they had shared and said goodbye. The next morning, the doctors shut her down, a decision that Connor calls heartbreaking. No father would want to do this, but they did it for their daughter. She didn't deserve to come to life just to endure pain. I tried not to cry because I wanted her to be surrounded by happiness, love, and strength. I wanted her to remember that she had a strong mother and that she should not be afraid in the future," Amy said. That night, when they came home, they saw a shooting star and thought it was her. I think she wanted us to know that she was happy and loved and made us understand that we had done the right thing," Amy said. Two weeks later, Esme was buried in her twin sister's christening suit. Amy wanted her to have something of her sister. Although Charlotte is too young to know, her parents intend to tell her of her strong, beautiful sister who fought to the end. Let's hope time takes all the pain away. What do you think of Amy and Connor's decision to withdraw their daughter from life support?